Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get Project Plus up and running on Dolphin on PC. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, Project Plus is arguably the definitive community-made unofficial patch for Super Smash Bros. Brawl. It adds in a ton of stuff into the original game. We've got new music, new stages, rebalancing amongst the entire cast. We've got a new cast member, and we also have new gameplay mechanics. Fortunately here, Project Plus is 100% free. You can pick it up from projectplusgame.com and then just click on the blue download button at the top of the screen. From here, there's a bunch of different options. In this tutorial, I'm going over Dolphin for Windows, so I'm gonna click on Dolphin for Windows. And the download isn't small, it's 1.8 gigabytes, and this doesn't include the game. When it finishes downloading, feel free to extract it into its own folder, and we can quickly see here that it comes with its own unique version of Dolphin. If I open this version of Dolphin up, I can see Project Plus Netplay Launcher and Project Plus Offline Launcher. If I try to open either of these, they're not going to work. We still have to supply the game. The next step here is to open up the games folder and place your Smash Brothers Brawl ISO. Now, interestingly enough, and probably frustrating to a lot of people out there, Project Plus is only compatible with certain versions of Smash Brawl. It won't work with any ISO you have. It's very particular on what it likes, and I'll show you that in just a second. So what I've done here is place two different ISOs in this game's folder just to show you the difference. The next step here is to boot up this custom version of Dolphin, and we should see these new games right in the games list, and I can see two different versions of Smash Brawl because I just put two different ISOs in that file. Instead of saying the game title, it says set me as default, use the .elf file to play. So all we have to do here is right click on the version of Super Smash Bros. Brawl, scroll down to where it says set as default ISO and click on it. From there we can open up either the Netplay launcher or the offline launcher. If you've done everything correctly, you have the right version of Super Smash Bros. Brawl, you should have Project Plus up and running and you're pretty much off to the races now. We can also see Knuckles is right there on the main menu, so everything here is okay. However, if you've got the wrong version of Smash Brothers Brawl and you try to launch Project Plus, you're just gonna get a black screen. And I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about here. So this is the wrong version of Smash Brawl. I'm gonna click set as default ISO and then open up the offline launcher. As you can see, Dolphin is just showing a black screen. Fortunately, there are two different ways to tell whether or not your ISO is supported, the easy way and the less easy way, but still also easy. The easy way is just to boot up Project Plus using your ISO. If it boots up and it works, then congratulations, your ROM is supported. If it doesn't boot up, it's probably not supported. Or you can check it the less easy way, but still also easy. Just right click on the game, go down to where it says, or up to where it says properties. From here, go to the Info tab, and then on MD5 Checksum, click Compute. This process might take a while depending on your computer, but when it's done, you'll get a series of numbers. Once you've got your MD5 Checksum, head on over to smashladder.com. I'll leave a link in the description below, and you can compare it to the list of compatible checksums. If it doesn't match, it's probably not compatible. On a side note here, I'd use the MD5 checksum as a last resort because the one ISO that I have that works with Project Plus doesn't match anything that's on this website. Now, in all fairness, this list could just be used for tournament reasons, but at the same time here, when I was looking through Project Plus, it said to consult this to make sure the ISO was compatible. So I'm not quite sure what's going on here. If you do, let me know in the comments below. At the end of the day here, Project Plus is simple and straightforward to get set up, provided you have the right ISO. And I think that's gonna cause a lot of people headache. I love this project. I think it's amazing. The patch works great and it's a lot of fun. In my opinion, this is the best way to play Smash Brothers Brawl. Plus you get Knuckles. Anyways, that is all I've got in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about Project Plus in the comments below. Have you used it? Do you plan on using it? And what do you think about it? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate. Save your state.